It's Tuesday, June 15, 2010. I'm Andy Waits in the News Bunker with a review of today's front pages. First, the New York Times. These are Uzbek refugees in Kyrgyzstan trying to flee Uzbekistan as the world looks on and wonders who these people are. The headline, Refugees Suffer at Kyrgyz Border as Russia Ways Pleased to Step In, a reminder that it's a big world. Efforts to repel Gulf spill are described as chaotic. Fragmented response, plans lacking in detail, top guild, junk shots, you have to wonder what's next. Yet there are entrepreneurial engineers with all kinds of ideas that are being ignored. Michigan says no thank you to a film. Apparently they think a horror flick with explicit cannibalism won't help their image or tourism. And cute little monkeys. Now the LA Times. Five U.S. soldiers have died in Afghanistan in the past nine days. This is the casket of Sergeant Brandon Burry. That's his wife holding their daughter in the background. Semper Fi, Sergeant Burry. Stakes rise for Obama and the Gulf. He'll talk to the nation tonight in his first Oval Office address. Candidates snipe from sidelines of budget fight. In the governor's race, Brown and Whitman feel safer attacking than offering ideas. Muslim club may be penalized for disrupting a speech by the Israeli ambassador at UC Irvine. Here are Kyrgyz soldiers playing pass the baby. Rioting has killed 125 Uzbeks in Kyrgyzstan, where they no doubt are jealous that Uzbekistan has a surplus of vowels. Michael Jackson's doctor can continue to practice. Well, practice makes perfect. Who's next? Now the Salt Lake Tribune. Look familiar? This isn't the Gulf. It's a pond in a park. A leak Saturday spilled 33,000 gallons of oil into a creek and the river and ponds it feeds. Chevron says it was a freak one-in-a-million oil spill. Murderer Ronnie Lee Gardner's request for mercy gets the brush off. His execution will be by firing squad, scheduled for Friday. Obama optimistic on Gulf's future. Look at him here. Mr. Optimism. Well, he has hope. For change. And Gary Coleman died on May 28th, but he's still front-page news in Utah. Here's a story about him and his ex-wife. Now let's turn to small-town America, the Johnstown, Pennsylvania Tribune Democrat. Flight 93 work spurs donations. Everything's on schedule for a dedication on September 11, 2011, the 10th anniversary. They've raised $15 million in private donations. They need $15 million more. You can see here what the memorial will look like. Although it's so remote, it may never have that many people at one time. Uh, 35 jobs available. Interesting front page news. Uh, threats against Senator Kennedy revealed. World War II Purple Heart recipient raises the flag on Flag Day. And here's something you don't see often. Richland reverses tax hike. Proposed 2.9% boost shelved in favor of no increase budget. Yeah, this is something we call common sense, although it isn't common enough. And that's the front page review for Tuesday, June 15th, 2010. In the News Bunker, I'm Andy Waits.